Do you want endless kinds of content? Do you want to teach, inform, and engage your audience? Well, I have just the AI agent for you. It's called the Daily News Bot. And you know on Google, when you type in a search term, they give you a bunch of tabs here. When you click on the News tab, you get a list of top trending articles. Now, what if we had an AI agent come into this section of Google, look at the top trending article, scrape that article's text, and then rewrite it to either post on your website, on your LinkedIn profile, or format it as a tweet. Let me show you how to do it. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Wes GPT. Head on over to youraiagent.com. This is a web app that I'm building live on this channel. So it's a comprehensive business suite of AI agents for your business or company. Enter your full name and email address, password, and then click sign up. It's going to drop you onto the settings page where you can choose to connect the platform to your AI agent. Now with this daily news bot, you'll have the option to create blog posts out of the news article summaries, or you can turn those news articles into LinkedIn posts, or you can turn them into tweets. So this is going to depend on what you choose. In this video, let's choose Twitter. We're going to make some tweets from the top trending news. Let's click on this. Then you're going to click developer portal, create a new app under your project. Make sure you select read and write and direct message under app permissions. The type of app needs to be a native app. And then you're going to use this website for the callback URI. And if you want to also the website URL. I provide that right here on the settings page. So you can copy it, paste it in. Once those user authentication settings are set up, we can go to keys and tokens and you want to grab the client ID. It's this right here. Copy it, paste it into the input box, name it what you want to name it within your AI agent. Let's say I'm going to connect my Twitter profile at Hey West Frank. Then you'll click connect. You get this OAuth screen, click authorize app. And if everything is good, back on the connections page, you'll be able to find your X connection, which we'll use to post tweets from the daily news bot. Then you're going to click on subscription. And if you don't have an active subscription, click subscribe. It will take you to a secured Stripe checkout page. Once the subscription is active on the home page, we can select the daily news bot and start setting up our AI agent to post on our behalf. So in the top right corner in this drop down box, you can select any of those types of connections. So if you want to connect your website, it will create an article or blog post. If you select LinkedIn, it will automatically generate a LinkedIn post. Or if you choose your X connection, it's going to generate a tweet. So the first thing we need to do is enter a search query, enter an industry niche topic, keyword or key phrase to scrape top trending Google news articles. I give you a bunch of examples here, but this is going to depend on your business, your company, your AI agent is an AI business. We specialize in creating AI agents. So I'm going to use the topic AI news and this search query input is exactly what you type into the Google search bar. So it's like I'm typing in AI news and then clicking the news tab and we're scraping these top trending articles. I only mention that because if you have a very obscure keyword or key phrase, there might not be new articles every day. Something like AI news, there's new articles every hour. So we're definitely good with this type of query. Just be mindful of that. Next is the content scheduling. The interval for this AI agent is days because that's the best chance that we're going to get a refresh of the news articles. By default, we have every day. I think that's a really good place to start. You can increase that to every five days. The more obscure your search term, the longer you should set your interval. But for AI news, I'm going to do it every day. And now we have an agent prompt. Think of the agent prompt like the system prompt in an API call. It's top level instructions describing what the agent is supposed to do and how it should generally behave and respond. Max 1000 characters. And I tell you what data is included. For this AI agent, the article summary is included. Again, we click into the article. We scrape the entire article text, removing all the unnecessary ads, social links, iframes, videos. We get just what's important. So the AI agent knows exactly what the article is about. And then we take that article text. 
we create a detailed summary of it and then pass it into your API call along with your agent prompt. You can make this whatever you want. Try to match your style, your brand, or your voice. And I know a lot of people have been testing their own prompts. So if you got something that works, feel free to put it in here. By default, I start you with something simple. It says you are an AI agent tasked with transforming a Google News article summary into a compelling tweet. Capture the key points and engage the reader, prioritizing clarity, relevance, and interest. Avoid hashtags or mentions and write in an objective yet catchy tone. The tweet should be readable and approachable for a general audience, providing just enough detail to inform and intrigue. Okay, let's click Start Agent. It will take you to the Workflows page where you can see all of your active workflows. And I'm going to click on the newest Daily News AI News Agent. It's going to show you this pop-up where you can check your error logs, delete or pause the workflow, change your search query. So if you don't like the results of AI News, I could change it to something like AI Developments. And on the next article creation, it's going to use the newest search query. You can change your content scheduling or adjust your agent prompt. Here I am on Twitter and on my profile's main timeline. Exciting news in AI. Physical intelligence has secured 400 million in funding, featuring big names like Jeff Bezos and OpenAI as investors. This boost will propel the company's efforts in advancing robotic systems and technology. Stay tuned for what's next. And because of structured outputs in the back end, we ensure that all tweets stay within the 280 character limit. So you don't have to worry about that. It's going to condense that text down to something that can post on Twitter where you can start getting views, likes, retweets, replies, mentions, and hopefully grow your audience. If you want to try the daily news bot for yourself, I'll leave a link to your AI agent in the description below. If you want to learn how I built these AI agents and maybe make your own and turn it into a profitable web app, here's the online course, how to build a custom AI app. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.